But for me, the six words that will be remembered are those six words that are the most feared words that have ever been spoken in the history of the United States Congress. I am just a poor Polish lawyer. Those words always preceded a dissection in brilliant form of the arguments made by those making presentations to the Energy and Commerce Committee. And if that witness was not ready, may I have one additional minute? Can I, as as Gentlemen, is recognized for one additional minute. Invariably, this brilliant dissection of the flaws in the arguments of those who were testifying before our committee resulted in legislation that ultimately produced protections for the American people in areas across the entire spectrum of the lives of every single American. And this legendary legislator has left a legacy uh, which will benefit families uh, in our country for centuries to come. Because like the New Deal principles that his father fought to put on the books, John Dingell has ensured that in the laws that were written during his time here, that they have been embodied and extended in a way that will protect families in our country and, by, I might say, around the world, because they will be emulated for generations to come. And we come here today to honor him for that incredible service that he has provided to our country. And I thank the gentleman for yielding to me. The gentleman yields back the balance of his time. The gentleman from Michigan, Mr. Upton, is Mr. recognized. Mr. Speaker, I may just ask a, a parliamentary question here. I, I think our side is prepared to close. I, I don't know of uh, more speakers. So I'm, I'm prepared to close the debate on our side. And if you're prepared to close, uh, we, we can finish this and uh, demand the vote if, if that's appropriate. Does the gentleman from Michigan have further speakers other than himself to close? Uh, no, we do not have any additional speakers, so uh, we can move to close. So, Mr. Speaker, I would uh, yield myself the balance of our time uh, at this point. The gentleman is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I just want to say, uh, with, with my good friend uh, Ed Markey's uh, uh, statement that I'm, I'm just a poor Polish lawyer, that reminds me of the story. I wasn't going to tell this uh, until then, but I, uh, those of us uh, on the committee certainly know the story because our our good friend Mr. Tozan has told this story many, many times. And that was when Mr. Dingle, then the, I think then the chairman said, he used that line, I'm just a poor Polish uh, lawyer. And Mr. Tozan, who's always known to have one of the best wits ever, not only in this body, but across the country, was, was about to relate to him a, a, quote, Polish joke. Mr. Dingle reminded him that he was just a poor Polish lawyer. And Mr. Tozan then said, well, I will then tell the joke very slowly. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, in the short, term that I've, short time that I have served in this body, uh, Mr. Dingle, John, and I have had uh, really countless conversations and stories. Uh, our offices were across the hall for a number of years. We'd walk uh, to the floor for votes. We would do joint press conferences. We often sat together on the Northwest flight to Detroit, where I'd then fly on to Kalamazoo or South Bend, and he would stay with his constituents on that side of the state. Uh, we obviously worked very closely, and, and uh, my work is uh, on the committee and, and subcommittees in so many different ways. And as not only a dean of the House uh, for Mr. Dingle, he's also dean, obviously, of our delegation, and I've been dean of the Republican side of that delegation as well. So our delegation has worked very closely on on many, many fronts. And in all of those conversations, I want to say I think they have all ended uh, with his uh, closing that is, God bless you, my friend. We are fortunate that God has blessed the Dingle family. Certainly uh, this house and all the great work that he has done as a real legislator, good friend of all the people, regardless of uh, party or affiliation or stand on the issue, he has been there for the country. So we say, God bless you, our friend, Mr. Dingle. We salute you for your service, and we look forward to our continuing strong relationship in so many ways. 
I yield back the balance of our time. The gentleman yields back the balance of his time. The gentleman from Michigan, Mr. Peters, is recognized. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Well, I'd certainly like to thank Mr. Upton uh, for his comments uh, and for managing the time on that side, and also like to thank Mr. Kildee for putting forward uh, this resolution. Uh, today, uh, we've certainly heard some just incredible testimonials uh, from uh, individuals in this House honoring the, the incredible work uh, of uh, an incredible public servant and statesman, Mr. Dingell. It certainly uh, is an honor for me to be here and serving uh, with Mr. Dingell, and it's certainly going to be an honor to continue to serve with him in the weeks and, and years ahead. And so it is uh, with great pride uh, that I move that the House suspend the rules and agree to House Resolution 154. The question is, will the House suspend the rules and agree to House Resolution 154? Those in favor say aye. Those opposed, no. In the opinion of the chair, two-thirds being in the affirmative, the rules are suspended, the resolution is agreed to, and without Mr. objection... Speaker, Mr. Speaker, I would uh, like to ask for a record uh, recorded vote. The gentleman asks for the yeas and nays. All those in favor of taking a vote by the yeas and nays will rise and remain standing until counted. A sufficient number having arisen, the yeas and nays are ordered. Pursuant to Clause 8 of Rule 20 and the Chair's prior announcement, further proceedings on this motion will be postponed.